Kevin McCullough. And we're back. Kevin McCullough, Times Square. Glad to have you with us. Uh, and thank you to those of you that have been helping us feed uh, those uh, children in Haiti. We have a list of some 590 yet to go uh, that you can help us feed for a mere gift of $80. Feed one child 700 meals over the next year in the world's, in our hemisphere's poorest population. Please go to the website called instagood.org, like do some instant good, instagood.org, or you can call 855-349-4673. Continuing with uh, Independent Women's Forum's Jenny Gentles, who writes a lot concerning the state of education and what um, the public schools are dealing with. Uh, and we we're just reviewing the recent speech by the NAA president, which Jenny, when you started telling me the things that were involved in her speech, as, as a father of a daughter who goes to a very beloved public school in where we live, um, I, I can only imagine the heated anger <laughs> that I would have if I heard that any of the topics you just mentioned, abortion, sexually explicit materials, uh, any of this stuff were even broached by my public school teachers with my daughter, because as far as I'm concerned, all of that has almost nothing to do with two plus two or how you sound out words or the proper uh, use of, of handwriting or any of the other things that my daughter is, is, you know, in school to learn about while she's there. And sometimes the left does us a favor. Sometimes they drop the curtain and we really do see what's going on back there. We did it during COVID, especially in the public school systems. But is she, do, do they do they notice that that parents are, are not in agreement with this and that when you uh, add on to that agenda, the forcing of boys into what used to be safe spaces for girls, uh, locker rooms, showers, bathrooms, fields of play, uh, et cetera, uh, you are now not just not only not doing the job that you're supposed to do, you're now endangering the public welfare of my daughter and others that are in there. And I'm sorry, I, I know a lot of parents, I, I by the way, I know a lot of public school teachers that do a really good job and that are very concerned about this. So please, if you're watching tonight, don't read this as some sort of like, you know, uh, dogging on the uh, public school teachers themselves. It's the unions and it's this ideology that they are forcing down from the top that we are violently pushing back against. And Jeannie, I'm just wondering, where's the tipping point? Because parents are not going to put up with this. And I think that they're going to speak out, um, you know, come November 5th. Well, I want parents to read or watch Becky Pringle's speech. This is the NEA president giving the speech that is very similar to the one that she gave last year. We pay a lot of attention to the fact that she's shouting at the speech and looks absolutely ridiculous, and then we move on. Well, let's not move on. Let's look at what her priorities are and what she left out. And what big thing that she left out was discipline in the classrooms, which that's endangering her own members. That's endangering teachers when we have out of control classrooms. So the concerns of parents, the concerns of teachers, those are not represented by unions. And we need to make sure that we, we don't just pay attention to Becky's ridiculous speaking style, but we pay attention to what she cares about, what she doesn't care about. And what she cares about is power, electing union endorsed politicians who will do her bidding, what she doesn't care about is the safety of teachers and students or the education of students. There was no mention of chronic absenteeism, of prolonged and profound learning loss, concerns that parents have right now. So we, we really need to ensure that paychecks of teachers are not automatically deducting dues to go straight to the NEA or the AFT and that we start minimizing the power of the union. And how does Independent Women's Forum best suggest parents go about finding those things out and getting getting involved if if nothing's being done currently? What where do you guys suggest people turn? Well, we have a teachers union resource center, a resource page on our website. 
I write weekly teachers union report cards that reveal the teachers union shenanigans all around the country. It's not just the national unions, it's your local union in Ohio, in New Mexico, in West Virginia. These are examples of areas where I've written report cards. So check out our resources and then join one of our independent women's network chapters that can get involved in their community to figure out how do we support teachers? How do we help them leave the union? How do we restore discipline in our classrooms and in our community? And how, to, how do we decrease the power of the union, which would need to happen again with dues, pull those dues, to redirect the teachers to alternative organizations that can support them, and then make sure that the school board is prioritizing the needs of parents rather than the unionized employees. So go to iwf.org, look up the resources and start a chapter and get involved. Stick around for more of That Kevin. Next, That Kevin Show with Kevin McCullough.